Hello everyone and welcome to Ian's Bricks. So today is uh, Sunday the 3rd of uh, December 2023 and uh, as you know in the past I've gone to uh, quite a few brick festivals and brick selling fairs and things like that and uh, and sell some of my Lego investments and I always enjoy doing that. Um, however, uh, just due to the nature of uh, brick festivals, they're actually quite difficult to get into these days. Uh, I know uh, a couple of, last week, I think it was, uh, there was uh, some new events for 2024 went on sale, and they literally sold out within a matter of seconds. And I didn't even manage to, to sort of get onto the onto the section where you can actually buy your, your tables for for being a, a trader and a seller. So uh, it's been a little bit disappointing that I've not been able to get on. Um, but never mind, it's one of those things. I am in a couple of brick festivals for 2024, but the next one isn't until April. April. So it's quite a long time to wait and as you can imagine I've, still, I've got quite a lot of Lego that I could uh, probably do with uh, with selling. Anyway, last night um, it was quite late, it was about half seven, quarter to eight. Um, I'd settled down for the evening, I'd been watching a film uh, and it just so happens that I just happened to have finished watching what I was watching on TV and I got a, a message on my phone, a little, a little sort of beep to say I'd had a, a, an email and normally uh, on a Saturday evening you don't really get that many emails. Anyway, so I checked the email, it said some new tables have been um, released for next week's Croydon Brick Festival. Uh, so this is going to be held at the on the 10th of December next Sunday uh, and I sort of saw this thing and I think oh okay uh, right this is now now is a good time can I go and check my diary very very quickly have I you know have I got you know enough time to do this thought you know what I'm just gonna do it just go ahead with it so I, I, kicked, I purchased two uh, sellers tables and uh, yeah it's, it's kind of worked so now of course I'm in the sort of mad panic uh, that I've got to now prepare for a brick festival in a week um, so I'm reasonably lucky that I've got some sets that are all boxed up and even labelled up from my last brick festival in Western Supermare at the beginning of November. So I'm going to go to the garage in a second and, and check how many of those I've got. But I've also, I spent a little bit of time last night uh, on my computer. Uh, I did myself a list. So these are some of the sets I'm going to have a look for in my attic. I need to get up there uh, this morning, have a look and see if I can get most of those sets. It's, it's quite a lot of stuff up there at the moment. Uh, but uh, I'm going to have a sort around, see what sets I can bring down. But then of course I've got to spend the rest of the time, I've got to bag everything up, lay everything up price everything up. so there's a lot to do I'm at work all of next week I can't take any time off which is going to make it slightly difficult and of course now the evenings are so dark I'm not really going to want to be doing stuff in my garage and things like that in an evening but that's just the way that it is um, I still think it'll be a good opportunity I know there was a brick festival yesterday in Watford and apparently it wasn't very, very busy at all. Uh, whether that's because people have, have spent up, haven't got any money, maybe it wasn't particularly well advertised, I really don't know, but apparently it didn't go down very well at all. Uh, there's another um, brick festival today actually in Doncaster uh, on the Sunday the 3rd and uh, so hopefully there it's a little bit busy busier for the traders that went to that event uh, but yes I'm actually quite excited about this I've got a lot to do uh, so I think first things first I'm going to go to my garage and just have a quick look and a reminder of the sets that I've actually uh, got already um, sort of bagged up and, and ready to go okay this is my garage it's a bit of a mess as you can see but these are the sets here down uh, down at the bottom that uh, that are all lego sets i've got a load of boxes here these are pretty much all empty so i'll use those for uh, for putting stuff in my car and stacking things up uh, i'm actually quite uh, thankful today because it's uh, it's chilly obviously it's december but uh, the last couple of days here in the uk it's been very very cold and i know certainly further up north in, in cumbria and places like that there's had a lot of snow as well uh, because i live on the south coast we tend not to get a lot of snow and uh, the, uh, the the colder weather has sort of moved away it's still quite chilly as I say but it just makes it a lot easier I'm not going to be freezing myself to death trying to sort all this Lego out so let's have a quick look at uh, what I've got in some of these boxes so you can see I've got quite a nice big box here and uh, a lot of the sets are already labelled up from, from the last uh, Brick Festival. I've got obviously Christmas sets as well, which hopefully will sell quite well. Uh, these are all in pretty good nick and I'm actually pleased. I don't really need to do a lot to these. I'll maybe just check some of the prices and uh, just check check that they're still a good uh, thing to sell them at. I do fluctuate my prices. I do move them up and down if, uh, if the market says so. So have a look at sold eBay prices. Um, I've also got some sets in here as well in this box. Again, they're all um, they're all sort of labelled up and priced up. So, yeah, I've got a few sets in there. I've also got some larger sets in here as well. Uh, some of the helmet series here. So, yeah, I've got a decent amount of stuff. And there's a couple of little boxes here just with a few odd sets in. Uh, and even this one here with some uh, sets, some which aren't bagged up. So I'll probably need to bag those up. 
and uh, figure out what I'm going to charge for those. That's not too bad, so there's quite a lot of sets there, but I obviously want to be taking more sets. I'm going to be filling my car with as many sets as I can take. Uh, so I think the next thing for me is to go into my attic and try and dig out some of the other sets that I'm going to be taking with me. And this is where I need to head up into, into my dark attic. Right, so up my extendable ladder. Let's move this over here. I'll give you a sneak peek at the good stuff. So this is my attic. I've got my head torch on, which is where you can see a little bit of light. Now, this is all a bit of a mess at the moment. These are all the sets I've been buying recently. But I think we need to get a little bit more light up here so you can see everything in its full glory. As you can see, I've got a load of boxes up here. There's still quite a bit of space over this side uh, where I've got some space to store Lego sets and I've got my sort of portable lights here. These are all rechargeable. I've got another one on here. And so this is sort of what my attic looks like at the moment. As you can see, I've got boards down sort of through the middle of the attic here, but all the other sets here are all labeled. So what I need to do now is go through my list here. I've got a list of all the sets I want to bring with me or at least try and dig out of their boxes. They're all labeled and numbered. So all I need to do is go to the right section go to the right box I should be able to pull out uh, these sets uh, relatively straightforward I say some of them are a pretty they're pretty piled piled up all the way back to the attic down here as you can see so if some of them are right at the back it's going to take a little bit of a maneuvering to get some of these sets out but uh, yeah so I'm up here for the next hour or so luckily it's not too cold it's raining outside uh, but it's uh, it's actually not too bad once I get this all lit up it's actually okay so uh, let's see what I can uh, dig out of the attic there. Then. Right, what I actually did before I went into the uh, the list of uh, boxes that I was going to get, I had a look through my promos, because uh, I sort of keep my promos separately just because they're things I like to sell fairly, uh, fairly early on. And yeah, I managed to get a load of promos here, so I'll be taking all these with me, all sorts of different things in here. So quite a few of these sandwich shops, I've got loads of those, but uh, yeah, I'll sell those at quite a cheap price. So yes, uh, so that's all the promos, I'm going to take those downstairs and come back up in here and uh, get on with the rest of my list. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's taken me about an hour to get everything together. And this is all the stuff here. As you can see, it's all sort of in bags and boxes that I can take easily uh, downstairs. So let me pile everything up on my table downstairs. That's everything brought downstairs and on my table. So I've now got to go through all of these sets and bag them up. Obviously I've got these little zip tie bags which I put them in and then sort of stick them down with tape. So it takes me a little while to do that. So I'll probably spend the next couple of evenings going through uh, all the sets and doing that and getting them ready. Just kind of try and give you a sneaky peek of some of the sets I'll be taking with me and I've still got to bag up. Obviously we've got the Friends idea set here, Harry Potter chess set here, I've got a couple of Star Wars sets. I've got uh, Tokyo architecture, we've got uh, city sets here, quite a few brick heads, I managed to get a few of these out, these went really well at my last brick festival, so I've got quite a few of those, uh, I do like that baby hamster, it's so cute, um, and uh, yeah, some other stuff as well, a lot of the gifts we purchased here, we've got the Charles Dickens there, we've got the Lego store there, we've got some other sets here like Carnage, um, and we have um, Speed Champions as well, um, and city set there as well and a few more of the gifts with purchase as well so there's a good old selection did lots of different size boxes so it's going to take me a little while to get everything packed away so there's some uh, nice sets in there, I hope you agree. Uh, so yes, the event itself, it's at uh, Croydon. If you know Croydon, it's sort of south of London, uh, within the M25. It's actually at the Westcroft Leisure Centre, which is on Westcroft Road uh, in Croydon. The postcode for that is SM52TG. Uh, if you know uh, UK postcodes, have a, have a look at where that is. Uh, it's uh, not a, an area I'm that familiar with, but I'm sure I should uh, find it okay. It's around about a two hour, and a slightly over two hour drive for me. Me, so I'm going to have to get to get up very very early on Sunday morning and uh, and have a drive over to Croydon. But I'm actually uh, really looking forward to this event now. Yes, it's very very short notice, but it just gives me an op opportunity to sell some more of my sets, some of my Christmassy ones as well, which is quite nice. Uh, hopefully uh, hopefully get those uh, so 
sold and uh, hopefully there'll be a few people coming through the doors uh, I know there's quite a few other sellers that I know as well that are going uh, so I know they're all going to be getting ready for the brick festivals like I am as well so I can't wait to sort of meet up with some of the other sellers as well that'll be nice uh, and uh, I did have a look on the um, uh, the Facebook page so uh, the brick festival people have got a Facebook page for each uh, each uh, venue so have a look for Croydon brick festival uh, apparently uh, the uh, 11 o'clock tickets have sold out the event actually opens at 10 and at the moment as things stand uh, Sunday afternoon evening they do have some 10 o'clock early bird tickets still available so check out their Facebook page uh, they are now selling tickets from 12 o'clock uh, so uh, so you can still um, quite easily get access to the Croydon Brick Festival if you haven't already and if you are going to the Croydon Brick Festival do come over to say hello uh, even if it's just just to say hello you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to obviously take a look um, to take a look at the stall but uh, yeah just come over say hello uh, I, I always quite like to have a quick chat to people if I've got time uh, and uh, just sort of uh, see where people are from and what they're, what they're getting up to and sets they've been buying so uh, that's pretty much it I've got a busy few days ahead of me now uh, obviously I've got to go to work tomorrow but in the evenings I'll be sorting all these sets out labeling them up packaging them up and getting them all ready uh, and I do have all day of Saturday as well to get my sets packed away and in the car and, and get everything ready so at least I have that Saturday where I've got the whole day to get everything ready ready for the Sunday so uh, yeah if you are going I'll see you there um, and uh, yeah uh, keep an eye out for my uh, overview of the actual Brick Festival itself I normally try and get those online a day or two after the actual event so keep an eye out for that as well that's it for now thank you very much for watching uh, take care and I'll see you in the next video bye for now